It's back Australia. We're just half an hour from the first Friday Night Live for Big Brother 7. Tonight, it's housemate against housemate in Gladiator Night. They'll be slugging it out to win the ultimate power in the Big Brother house. The result will affect the game like never before. But right now, it's time for an Edge of Your Lounge daily show. Pressure is mounting on the secret couple, Andrew and Hayley. And Mr X has a new trick up his sleeve. <laughs> Previously on Big Brother, there are two camps forming in the house. Hey, what the others say, we all do. Yeah. It's 50 50, but maybe slightly outruled by the geeks. And Thomas gets a tongue lashing from TJ. I'm flirting with you because it's fun, and that's it. Maybe you should keep your flirtatious crap to yourself. And Billy steps up his mission. I got you some little flowers. Oh. <laughs> oh, Coming up tonight, a woman scorned. What would you pass me in here? Well, I know that I would regret it if I did. This is an awfully small pond, and the pick of the pond ain't that tough. A house divided. They happen to be just a pack of idiots, really. <laughs> so being a cow. Is she ever not? And a couple showing cracks. It just made me furious, it really did. I hate the thought that Hayley kissed someone else. I'm also being dishonest with the person I'm in a relationship with, really playing on my mind and my heart. I have that effect. Yeah. So did you sleep better? Uh, no. Last night, TJ and Thomas argued after he rejected her advances because he's yeah. vowed not to get into a relationship for six months. <laughs> it's hard for me because I'm so bloody big. Mm. Tall. Tall. Come here, give me a cuddle. Oh. You're right. Thank you. You're all right, you are. No, I'm a big goofy moron, really, but... You're all right. Do you think there's anyone like... Do you know what I mean? In like... love. Yeah. <laughs> With only a few days left until Hayley and Andrew complete the mission to keep their secret, Hayley finds she's being questioned more often. Yeah, there's a few little sparks, I think. Yeah. So, um... What about for yourself? Then? Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Come yeah. on, you trust me. I won't say it. I won't, <laughs> I won't I promise. I don't know. I, know, I just think... That, like, I don't really know people well enough yeah. to feel connected to them. Yeah, like, I don't feel an emotional someone. connection to anyone as no such like yet. Yeah. But, like, physically, you know, you have a bit of a... Oh, yeah? Yeah. And, um, yeah, there's a few people that I think... Yeah, can you cute. give it a crack? I don't know, yeah. Just sussing it out, you give know. Give it a crack. <laughs> Friggin' Thomas last night. I so he's about the biggest friggin' game player. Oh, that's why, didn't you hear? I stuffed him last night. I Tell him in, in what I way? I smashed him. I absolutely smashed him. How so? Because we were in the cool room and he goes, You're flirting with me. No way! And then he's like, Well, I, you know, I don't intend for anything. I'm not looking for love. And I'm like, Really? I really thought you liked me. And like, and I was. And what I was did he like, say? He was like, I'm so, so sorry. I'm like, it's okay. No Just, way. He said that. Yeah, and I'm like, stop apologising. Okay, I thought we had something. And, like, just full playing that, like, oh, my God, you broke my heart. <laughs> like, stop. And he went for and it. He, he was like, I'm so sorry. Oh. I, I go. Every persona, in a right. sense, is, is a mask. And until you really know yourself, then you can stop, you can't, then you can stop using those masks. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, um, it's hard people coming in and feeling like they have to be a certain something, but, but it would be just exhausting, I reckon, to just come in here and try and be something that you want. If you're normally a quiet person and you're trying to be loud, that's even more exhausting, but just any sort of charade that you're trying to hold up 24-7 yeah, yeah, would be no. exhausting. Absolutely exhausting. So, now I'm ringing true, pretty proud of myself so far. Sorry. Just, I'm um, ringing true to myself so far, so yeah. I'm just going to stick at that and get nominated and kicked out in the first time. 
<laughs> That's all right. Hayley is pretty, pretty, um, what should we call it? Pretty smug with him. I find that really interesting that she is looking, not is looking for anything in here. Mm. I just, I think she's more intelligent than that. Not that there's anything wrong with it. I mean, it's her choice. Sorry, it's already busted in on your on your no, chin. That's right. We pretty much finished anyway. Oh, okay. Had a chance. That's good. I see. It's nice. Yes, because we hadn't had much of a connection. Cool. Yeah. I'm like even like Andrew and stuff. I sat and had a chat to him for like ten minutes the other mm. day, and I went, "Oh yeah, you're not as bad as I thought." <laughs> Yeah. No, I thought he was bad. But yeah, but, you, know, I, you know, I know what you I've mean. got more in common with you than I thought. Yeah, you don't. See, I would have thought. It's funny. I would have thought completely the opposite. I would have thought you and Andrew would have had a lot in common. Really? Mm. Not a lot. I mean, it's from the same state. Mm. But I don't know. You just. So you seem very intellectual to me. Like you seem, seem quite quiet, reserved, fun, interesting, but very mature, very intellectual. Mm. Um, and Andrew seems that same way to me as well. Andrew really? Seems. I didn't get the intellectual side of him yet. I guess I haven't spoken to him long enough. I guess, I don't know about intellectual, but he just seems quiet and... You guys, yeah, just seem like you'd click, that's all. He's basically as feminine as a male as you can get without being gay. Yeah, he is. Because as far as I'm concerned, yeah. like, this is an awfully small pond to try and pick something from. And the pick of the pond ain't that... Top. Yeah, ain't exactly. After the break, is it game over for the secret couple? Haley and Andrew, they could be a couple. Good luck. Thanks. <laughs> There's something weird about the group dynamic here that I just don't like. I don't think any of them have the emotional maturity probably to, or just any sort of maturity at all, emotional or otherwise, to kind of in excite me or inspire me. And so I suppose I'm a little bit intellectually understimulated, plus I also think they happen to be just a pack of idiots, really. <laughs> Drum roll. Oh. 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 That would look awesome on the camera. Yeah, Who did it? Oh. oh no. It's obvious that the boys in there are just their brains are attached to their hormones and they can't see past. They can't see what they wouldn't have a clue what a real woman is, and that's what annoys me about them. There are four would-be housemates in a secret room hidden behind this wall in the garden. They can leave at any time by pushing a red button. Those in the house can They're see, but not hear the white room nothing. and don't know where it is. I reckon they have to hit the red button when they finally go nuts. I wonder how long they're going to last, if that's the case. It's four days already. I'm watching it from this angle. <laughs> Perfect. Right there. Bad, isn't it? Oh, I feel so sorry for I them. I feel so, so sorry for them. Do you want to play 21? Yeah. You, yeah. You're definitely aiming for that button. And instead of... <laughs> I like it very nice. So very much. Oh, give her that button. You have to push it. Who knows about you very sensitive. <laughs> 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 There's not even a window. I'd be like climbing the walls. Cabin fever. Yeah. I really have to stop meeting like this. <laughs> Actually, a really funny joke my coach used to say. <laughs> like, you know, this sort of thing. You'd... Never mind. I'll explain later. Uh -huh. Hurry up, we're waiting. You can keep waiting. See that? See that? That's me. 
thing, man. As far man. as I know, it's only six months, isn't it? What? The waiting limit? Hmm. That's before I get back into a relationship. I'm going to date people between now and then. Oh, just, really? Just... Just not get into a relationship. Hmm. So just not hmm, in here. And not in here. Hmm. Big Brother has set most of the housemates a task to name the secret couple. Each think that they're the only one playing detective. Hello, Big Brother. I just wanted to come in and uh, talk to you in regards to my task on a more serious level. I think it, I think it might be Andrew and Hayley. Even though she's, she's hit me with the whole I like Thomas thing or whatever, he's, he's the sort of guy I'd go for. I think that's to throw us off the money. I really do. I, and even... Yeah, I honestly think that, um, that Hayley, Hayley and Andrew could possibly be compatible and that they could, they could be a couple. After the break, is TJ wearing Thomas down? What would you pass me? I can't rule it out because I'm a weak, pathetic person. Last night, the housemates were given soft drinks. During a week surviving on basic food supplies, they're a treasured luxury. She's got a can of red feet. I think it's an empty one. She put it in a room with some ice, and then she got some ice. Last night, she saved one. Which is fair enough, I suppose. I'll be right back. I've got to get the loot. Don't you drink my drink. I know exactly how much is there. Even Stevens. <laughs> Emma is sharing the soft drink she saved with Alicia. Well, the sweet is you got energy drinks and ice and you mix them together. Get my drink! <laughs> <laughs> Give me a mouthful or I'll tell the house. Yeah, Give me a mouthful yeah. or I'll tell the house. <laughs> you see what he said. He's like, word on the street is you've got energy drinks and ice box. And then he just folded. You said it's so much you? like my brother just said. Who told you, Rita? It was drink? scary. Who told you, Jane? Mm -mm. Did someone tell you? Or did you see it? Everyone's bitching about you behind your back yeah, again. Yeah, I tried to discreetly <laughs> take really? it. Yeah, they spotted you when they were bitching about you behind did your you back. Did you tell him? Or did no, you I swear to God. No, they were. They all hate I you. I don't care if they hate me. Did you see they it? They all hate did you. Did you see it? Or are you just guessing? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I'm mouthful. No, you can't hurt Amy. I'll remember. There's going to be a time when you need something. Bodie! Bodie! <laughs> did someone see it? Oh my God! <laughs> Get, no. Bodie! What? Did someone see Could it? Could I have a mouthful of yours yes, again? Yes, but did someone see it or did you? Someone did see it. Hey. Holy crap. Oh. <laughs> hey. Darling, Emma. When I was drinking, did you see me going like this? Guard it with your life, Emma. Who saw it? Oh, all the, the group of people at the end of the table I was sitting with. And they said it? Yeah. What did they say? I should get an energy drink. Who said that? Kate. Kate said it? Yeah. Oh, hell. Just break my balls. What did you say? I said, yeah, dodgy bitch. <laughs> You're an idiot. Whatever, look, you just start in trouble, all right? I'm going to walk past you. Don't. don't. <laughs> Give her her energy drink. Just go ahead. It'll be good. Lay down there. Just lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Is she really having a bitch about no, it? No, no. She's not. Don't worry about it. And what's she say? She didn't have a bitch. It wasn't a whinge. It wasn't a bitch. It wasn't a moan. It wasn't a whinge. She's being a cow. Is she ever not? Very nice. I don't like getting even a little bit tipsy because as much as I'm entertaining and come up with great conversation, I just... Get rejected. <laughs> and yeah. I don't like it. And what? I said, and I don't like it. Oh, well. Yeah, you reject me. Get used to it. Get used to being rejected. By me. <laughs> In here. Because it ain't going to change. OK, but here's a question for you. Mm -hmm. Hypothetically. Yep. If we weren't in here. Yeah. Would you find me someone that you would hang out with? Yeah. What would you pass me in here? In here? No. Nothing in here? No. Really? Really. And I can't rule it in here. I mean... Yeah, that's the, what I mean. Like, you're so I can't, adamant. I can't, I can't rule it out because I know that I'm a weak, 
pathetic person and I'll, you know. But what I know is that I would regret it if I did and so I am adamant that I'm not going to. <sighs> Yep. Look at all those bees. Bees. I'm taking a bee drink. I'm having a glass of wine. And I'm hiding it, everyone. I'm hiding it because right. I choose to drink it tomorrow and not I'm this evening. I'm having a glass of wine. Yeah. I'm hiding it. I'm hiding yeah, it. I'm up for that too. Yeah. Emma, you are so naughty the way you hide bees. I only hid one and I didn't drink for the first three days we were here. Emma. So I took Emma. one drink last night and I chose to have it. You are a hungus. You know. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, where's my class? What's wrong with you? Nothing. Here. I'm fine, I'm not sleeping. Okay. Drink? No, thank you. Okay, just be over there. Yeah. Okay. Like, seriously, I didn't drink for three nights. Everyone drank alcohol. I didn't oh, count no. everyone's drink and tally it on my list. An imaginary pad. So one day I take a drink, put it in the room, I choose to have a half a cup with Alicia and I get ripped apart. Because <laughs> she hold it and she was hiding in her bedroom. And I'm no, like, she told everyone last night she was going to take one. Yeah, that's so fair. Like, yeah. I reckon you guys should be able to take it. Yeah. She was drinking couple. last night. Yeah, yeah, but she didn't drink. So what? No, yeah. it's, it's only a V drink. It's not a big deal. No, no, I know. It's just. Yeah. Why would you hoard in your room? Do you think that it's appropriate to be in bed right now? <laughs> oh, can't we stuff sitting up? Yeah. I've been put in a mood. I don't want to sit up with her. What did she say? Oh, she's just having a bit. I just can't be bothered sitting up there with us. Yeah, what did she say? Are you hiding the drinks? I heard her say that. Something like, are you being haunting? What is that? Hoarding. Like? Hoarding. She just keeps going on about it. I'm like, build a bridge, you f***ing idiot. If she says something to me again, I'll f***ing rip her head off. What has she said so far? Oh, she's just being a bitch. I don't appreciate her rudeness. I think that you need to get up. It's all right, I'm not sad. No, I know. That's why you need to get up. Just cut me off. I'm not sitting out there. She f***ing does my head in. Well, it'll just be a war if it happens. Annoying <laughs> cow. Coming up next, is Andrew betrayed by a kiss? I just feel gutted at the moment. With the thought that she may have done something like that. Have a crack. Yeah. Did you? Did you, Passion? Yes. Go away. I think the coffee is good. Hail the end, Bodie. You should. No, we would be the most incompatible couple in the world. <laughs> so, yeah, like this. No, you gotta look a bit closer. Don't kiss, but. Like... Don't kiss! <laughs> no, don't no, worry, we won't. Television will make it look bad, ready? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's it, that's all it took. I don't like being blown on. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Billy Jetson. Oh, I thought that was going to go wrong one. then. You're right. Uh, oh. Here, have a nut. <laughs> no, you are one. <laughs> Can I have a nut, please, Haley? You are one. I right. that we were the most incompatible couple. Andrew. Big brother, um, this place is going to get more and more um, challenging for me in that uh, guys are going to uh, continue, or continue and uh, up their efforts to, um, I guess, be with Hayley in a way. Um, don't know what happened out there before and I try to ignore it, but uh, my perception is that there was a kiss, I don't know what happened. Uh, you might be able to tell me otherwise, but... Uh, God, I, it, it just made me furious, it really did. I, I hate the thought that Hayley kissed someone else. It's just... Oh. I can't even tell you how frustrated I am and how upset it makes me to even just believe that, that something as small as a peck has occurred out there. Um, 
I, I don't know what to say. I just feel gutted at the moment with the thought that she may have done something like that. It's Friday day. It's definitely Friday. Yeah. And if we're only a short space off Friday night games. Just you wait. I'm gonna give it everything I got. We're staying up a bit if anyone wants to come out for a bit of a chat. No, well, actually, I did swap. It's up to you. No, I did swap. Uh, won't right be back. much. Won't be much at all. But if you want to come out, if you want to come out for a chat, we're going to start for a bit. What are you chatting about? We know. I need drinks, but I'm not staying up. You'll stay up in a minute. Maybe well, I should get my water and I'll get oh, another one. It needs to come here. So we got to go to bed. Because if we don't, we are going to be I'm looking up. dead. Oh. Settled in pretty well, haven't you? I'd like to think so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you sort of uh, winning hearts? The what? I'd made, I wouldn't even know, eh? No? No. Everyone seems, you know, considering you're two days down on everyone else. But I'm, it's, I'm, I don't know. Hopefully, I am being myself. That's, that's. Yeah. Hayley. Hi, big brother. Um, I'm just coming in to ask whether or not, and I'm, I've just been, yeah, obviously experiencing a lot of stress with a lot of the situations that have been arising, and I'm missing Andrew terribly, not being able to talk properly to him. And um, I'm really getting to a point where I feel like I'm being, like I'm, I am struggling with the dishonesty side of it and I'm, I'm worried about people that may end up um, perhaps getting a little bit hurt and feeling quite betrayed when this obviously comes to light. But my main concern obviously, um, really just the, um, I never really expected to get as much attention as what I have in here um, from members of the opposite sex, in particular my ex-boyfriend having arrived on the scene. Um, it's added a lot of stress for me and the fact that I'm being not only dishonest with people that I'm forming friendships with but I'm also being dishonest with the person I'm in a relationship with now um, is really playing on my mind and my heart. Um, not nice to be dishonest with anyone, but in particular someone that you're in a relationship with that you care so much about. It's really difficult. How do you feel about Billy? It doesn't help when he's telling stories in front of people that, are, that I know very well refer to me. And he's talking about, you know, the day that we met being the, most ha the happiest day of his entire life. Um, and referring to me in ways that nobody else is aware of and it just really does, you know, um, make it quite st st stressful, especially when Andrew's sitting next to him. And I feel so horrible making it because I know that I'd feel so humiliated later. Find out what happens when the couple is revealed to the house and Andrew finds out about Billy Sunday night at 7.30. But now, stay tuned, because behind these doors, Friday Night Live is about to rock the house.